Welcome back, everybody, once again to the Trials of Beldroth. I am TJ the Obscure here with you, and I did a little bit of work off camera. I found another jungle crystal that was in that that crazy dungeon that we were in last episode. It was in one of the little cubbies on the side. Um, I feel like I found something else too, and I know I can't remember what it was. Oh, this. I haven't read it either. This was in some kind of little hidden secret passage thing. And it was with a chest with a bunch of torches. A jungle without bamboo. Is that really one of his greatest fears? BSM is by Stephen King. Uh, very cool. We're going to go with the knockback axe. I figured we would explore up here. Now, my... Guess is that this has taken us further into the map. Um, but maybe not. Maybe further into the map is actually through the river Styx. And we're going to find something else here entirely. We are getting the drowned guys. Well, that was pretty cool. I don't know if I like this slow falling right now. Are these just ruins? Where are the drowned guys coming from? Maybe they are just natural spawns? And natural spawns are determined by biome. Maybe. Maybe not. That's a creeper spawner though, that's weird. Pretty sure that was a creeper spawner at least. And what on earth are you, like a little kelp head? A little seaweed head? I wonder if there's a spawner up there somewhere. Or if they're just natural spawns. Which I've already, I've already gone over that, I don't, I don't need to question that again, we've already We've already raised that issue. We don't know. Hey, look, there's bamboo here. I can't tell if I'm hearing music sound effects right now. Or if that's coming from where I, like, my house. <laughs> that, I think, is actually a creeper. Yeah. Hi. Oh, we don't want to use our... Poison arrows, I don't think. This is leading us to a water area, which tells me it might indeed be the same place as the river Styx or whatever. One thing I'm not seeing a lot of are chests, which is odd, because up till this point we found a lot of hidden stuff and whatnot. There's weird particles coming from the water, I think. Or was that just a creeper that had spawned? I saw like the little blue soul sand particles, yeah. Who knows? I guess we want to go across the bridge, right? I was hoping we might see some... some goodies. But I don't think so. And this does seem to be the end of the road. I don't see any other paths. Unless it goes off in that direction somewhere. Well, let's hop on over to the bridge here. And complete the bridge. Hope that there are no skellies on the other side. I want to get a little closer here. Set off that spawner. And then we hop on over. And 
And now we go and hide. All the skillies. Just all the skillies. Hey. You can still see me too, can't you? Um... I don't know if there's a creeper spawner up there or not. This, I think, is maybe going to be some more ability points, actually. They cannot get to me now. The knockback is really helpful here. Okay, where are these creepers coming from, you guys? Oh, there it is. Alright, we're good? I think we're good. Um... Yeah, I guess this is just ability points. The gods have granted you two upgraded points. Upgrade, upgrade of points? Upgrade of points! <laughs> you can upgrade your points. For completing this challenge, use them wisely, it says. I'm pretty sure Eris gave me a command to give me back the ones that I lost. But I don't have that handy at the moment. But that doesn't mean that we can go and spend these guys now. And I'm just going to float back, I think. I wonder if I should check this place to see if there's anything else. It's also possible there's stuff down in the water. I do use a not to know. Hopefully we make it all the way. Nope, we're not going to make it all the way. I don't, I'm not seeing like any light or anything that would lead, lead me to believe there is stuff down there. Levels? Levels. We like the levels. Honestly, I don't know. If, I feel like there's probably more here. It seems like a large area with a lot going on for there to just be the little upgrade point thing. But maybe not. Um, Where are we going? How do we get to the place we need to be? I think it's through here. Maybe? Yeah, sure, that'll work. Yeah, I got the magenta one. We got magenta and white. I'm guessing it's just some kind of bonus. Gosh dang it. Where am I going? What what am I trying to get to exactly? Is it up further? I think it is. Here we go. Upgrades. Take me to the upgrade place, please. We want to upgrade our sword, our pickaxe, yeah? I don't think I have any kind of bow. Do I have any other upgradable armor? I think, yeah, I think we want to go with the bow, right? I mean, with the, with the, with the armor. And we'll upgrade that guy too. I like this upgrade thing. <laughs> I wish I still had the other points. Uh, again, I'll try to do that maybe in between episodes. Why am I still walking around with this on the bar? I guess I had planned on using it at one point. To get some creepers. So we did that. So now I think the only place we have left to go is to this river sticks over here. I feel like I'm definitely still missing some stuff in the jungle area. I don't like that. I don't like that whatsoever. But I guess it's nothing. We could just float right on over there, you guys. We could. I'm not gonna do that. All oh, these particles are 
getting really annoying. Oh, come on, guy. I should have just used my axe there, I think. Who, where are, what? Okay, there you are. Go away. Creepers? Yeah, there's definitely creepers around. I can hear them. But maybe they're down below here. Um... Go away. Oh gosh, you're fast. Yes, I, I saw your friend. I did not see you, though. Are you the creeper spawner? Oh, you are. I think. Uh, no. Go away. Uh, go away. Oh my gosh. This knockback axe is amazing. It'd be cool if they took fall damage, like, based on velocity. <laughs> so when you knock them back like that, they, like, got hit up against the wall or whatever. And it did extra damage or something. Uh, where are you going, guy? I think I maybe knocked him down there. Ooh, man, okay. The uh the bright colors are starting to get to me, I think. And you can go in the water. No? No, no, yep. Okay, there we go. Uh, creepers? Oh gosh, no, 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 no. Let me up, let me up, let me up. No, I'm not seeing anything, I don't think. There's some of that. And that's just gonna be... Taking us further back out there which is maybe not a terrible thing but I want to keep heading in this direction if we can uh, I don't know where he went die Mr. Creeper die There's that. And that. I love these rooms like this. Again, it's so simple. And they're small. I, I feel like one of the big design flaws of a lot of maps is that they just make everything way too big. Because they want to have that effect like, oh my gosh, look at how gigantic it is. But it leads to terrible gameplay. Whereas a tiny room like this with these little things like that, it's, you're gonna, you know, it's just gonna be a lot more fun. I think. Golden apple, we will take it. A lot more challenging. A lot more potential to die. Well, I probably need to just keep going down the river then. Yeah. We grab a boat. Oh, look, there's even a boat down there. Ooh, that's a cool view right there. In fact, if we could get even further out, I'm guessing that we need to go along and then it's eventually going to take us out to the boats here. So we could jump down right now if we wanted to. 
but I think I'm going to hold off on that. I do kind of want to get out here and get a view of things, though. Like, right? The, um, and this map has these gigantic, uh, awe-inspiring views without the bad gameplay to go along with it. This is really turned out, turning out to be, I think, one of my favorite maps of all time. Largely for the, for the gameplay and, and level design. But the aesthetics are pretty, pretty great too. Not within the dungeons, right? Pretty basic, but the environments themselves are impressive. Is there another one around here? Indeed. Not anymore, though. Wait, did he just, did he really just do that? I think my thing just broke right now. Oh gosh, yes it did. Run away, run away, run away. Oh my gosh, you guys. We're gonna get ourselves killed. How am I looking on food, too? We are not in a good situation right now. I just realized how low I am on food. I hope, you know, I was experiencing this thing in Monumenta where the chests weren't showing up, and I hope that's not happening here, too. You guys and your dang crossbows. Uh, boop. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Interesting, I haven't seen Endermans around, I don't think. This is also interesting, there's a lot of, like, tunnels and stuff here. Is there anything over in this direction? Oh gosh, no, no, no. No, 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 get me inside, get me inside, get me inside. I don't think he can follow me. I hope not. Hi. Coming through, gentlemen. Boom. I should maybe try to kill the Enderman here, huh? Um. Come here, Mr. Enderman. No, that's not what I wanted you to do. Oh, gosh. Um. Hey, hey, come here. Come here. Oh, we got an inner pearl, you guys. I feel very wealthy. Very lucky. He's still hanging out over there. Uh, we could still hop down into the boat. But I guess we'll hold off on that. For now. I'm assuming that this is going to lead us around and down. Gosh, I'm loving this dungeon too. It's really hard to see stuff, which I'm sure is intentional. There's some of that. And some of that. Where did you go, my skelly friend? I like he has to be around here somewhere. You guys are so slow. Oh my gosh. I don't think there's anything up there. Uh, hello? I'm waiting for the creepers to come and say hello. It looks like it maybe keeps going here. I want to... Get over there first and foremost. Ooh, there goes more armor.
Is that block actually there? It seems like it. Okay, yeah, you just you just keep coming then, don't you? I think I see a spawner over there, maybe. Where you going there, guy? And your buddy, too, huh? Whee! Okay, so it doesn't actually go down here, then. Or maybe it does. It's to a chest. Okay, the chests are visible. I'm not... Not imagining anything. Can we make a shulker chest now? I feel like that's our second one. I think you need two, right? That's the end of our food, isn't it? We got some rotten flesh. I believe I I have what I need. Where in the heck did you come from? I have what I need to uh, make a farm and stuff. I feel like there must be a, another spawner around or something. All that yummy, yummy rotten flesh. Thank you very much. Uh, you? That one's empty. That one appears to be trapped. Uh, some of that. Okay. Are you guys coming from somewhere, or are you just, I think you just spawned here and are stuck now, basically? Let's check out all these little rooms. This one looked like it had maybe something up above. Uh, there's that. Okay, we see the dispensers there. Um, creeper spawn eggs. But nothing else as far as I can tell. And was there nothing here in the center of this little pillar? What's the copper for, you guys? Who's dropping copper? And can you even do anything with it? Okay. So... I think this is probably a good place to go ahead and end the video. We've made some progress, had a couple of close calls, and that's where we'll be headed next episode. Anyways, that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.